factorization with the help of mid term break method question 1 5 p square minus 13 p plus 6 by multiplying last term and first term we will get 30 p square now we have to split into <coughs> two terms which will be 10 p and 3 p because we want minus 13 p on addition there will be p square minus 10 p minus 3 p plus 6 now taking common 5 p in the first two terms there will be 5 minus 2 minus 3 common p minus 2 p minus 2 again common then 5 p minus 3 question second 3 a square plus 10 a plus 7 multiplying first and the last term we will get 21 a square now splitting these there will be 7 a and 3 a because we want middle term 10 a on addition there will be 3 a square plus 3 a plus 7 a plus 7 taking as 3 a common there will be a plus 1 again taking as 7 as a common a plus 1 a plus 1 is again common into 3a plus 7. Question number 3. 6p square plus 7p minus 20. On multiplying with first and the last term, we will get minus 120p square. Now we have to separate into 2, which is a 15p and other will be the 8p because we want 7p on addition or subtraction so 6p square plus 15p minus 8p minus 20 taking as 3p common we will get 2p 